coming up in Mizzerktastic. your home. Perfect for families and classrooms. Hi my friend, today we are going to be learning about uh, and creating art for vegetables. It's super cool. Alright, so vegetables are the parts of the plant that we, humans, and also animals like to eat. Now, the name is used, the word vegetable is used to describe the parts of the plant that we eat. And that includes the leaves, the flowers, I know, the flowers, the stem, the roots, and you might be thinking, I don't eat roots, I don't eat leaves, I don't eat flowers, I don't eat stems, but my friend, here's the thing, the leaves of some plants you eat, they might be kale or spinach, lettuce, collard greens, those are all leaves. Celery and asparagus, you're eating the stem of that plant. You might be eating some roots too if you eat uh, turnips or if you eat carrots or if you eat beets or beetroot. It's called beetroot because it's a root. And those are the different parts. Now broccoli, if you let a head of broccoli continue to grow, all those little tiny little green circular spherical things on the top, eventually if they let if you let it keep growing and before you cut it, if it gets to grow all the way, they will open up into little yellow flowers. It's true, if you ever grow broccoli, you'll see that it looks like broccoli, it has green, it has little round things at the top, and if you forget to cut it, eventually those little brown things on the top will open up into little yellow flowers. So cool, right? So there are lots of different types of vegetables. And did you know that vegetables are really super healthy for us? They have lots of healthy vitamins and minerals in them, including potassium, including um, iron, including uh, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E. So it is really important to eat lots of vegetables to ensure that your body is healthy. So let's take a look at some different types of vegetables. There is leafy greens, so that could be spinach, lettuce, could be kale. There's cabbage, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, beets, carrots, potatoes, yams, onions, garlic, celery, and asparagus. Those are all different kinds of vegetables. Now let's head over to the art studio where we're going to draw a cute carrot and then we're going to make a beet painting. Let's make some art. All right, let's make a cute carrot. All right, cute carrot. Let's do a curving line. It's gonna be a curvy carrot. Why? Why not? It's art, we can do whatever we want in ours, in our own drawings. Okay, you wanna bring another line, fold it up. Connect. And if you don't want to do a wave, you can make a stray carrot. You can make a bent carrot, zigzag carrot, whatever carrot shape you want. You do you. Okay, let's add three carrot tops. Well, they're leaves, which by the way are edible. You could actually, if you grow your own carrots, you can cut the carrot tops and add them to salads. 
they are edible. Which most people don't eat carrot tops. But it is edible. True story. I think I've tried them in a salad. They're kind of, mmm. It's like the texture of parsley, which is a weird thing to eat in a salad. It's interesting. If you have a pet rabbit or a guinea pig, I'm sure they would love your carrot tops. If you have a pet that you think might like the carrot tops, give me a thumbs up on this video. Okay, so you zip lines around the sets. I mean, around the stems, not around the sets. Around the stems. Good job. And I'm zigzagging with the shape of the stem. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Z uh, circle on the either side. Big circle in each eye and a small circle. Coating the dark of the eyes, leaving the circles white. Line between. Connect with a U. Boop. Extra cute, right? When we smush the eyes and the whoosh, whoosh, when we smush the eyes and the mouth all into one little area, it makes it cute. That's the secret. Okay, curving line from one side down to the other. Oops. My marker is fading. Made a mistake. There you go, I'll just stick that up to fix it. And then we can color in the dark of the mouth. Leaving that tongue white. Curving lines across. Now we're going to color in the carrot top, so you can color in your artwork using your choice of art making mediums. Find my orange. I always lose it. I only have one orange left, I think. Oh, there it is. Okay. Um, and I'm intentionally leaving some white just for highlights. So it's a perf on purpose leaving white, not just because I'm being silly and I don't want to color in the whole thing. I'm trying to make it quick. But I'm leaving it so it looks like the light is hitting it. There's a difference. I'll do it along here as well.
just like that, your carrot is done. All right, let's make some, let's make our beet painting. All right, we're gonna do a beet painting. So we're gonna grab something to draw with. Okay, we're gonna do black. I'm gonna add a black wax crayon. I wanna draw a nice beet shape. some beet tops. We're gonna add a nice wavy line around because the beet tops are a little bit more wavy. It's not like a carrot where it's prickly. Not prickly, but like fine little leaves. These have big one large leaves, right? Lines across. Now I gotta paint. Oh yeah, let's grab my paint. Ha ha ha. Where's my brush? Oh, there it is. Got my brush. Ha ha ha. And my water. Ha ha ha. It's like the count from Sesame Street. I'm really stuck on the Sesame Street thing, guys. I just keep thinking about Sesame Street, but you know what? I saw <laughs> really old versions of the Sesame Street because I'm much older than you. <laughs> All right, beat painting. Now I have purple, I have pink. But these are kind of ready. So I'm gonna take some purple and I'm gonna take a little bit of pink. And I'm gonna mix those together. All right, that's better. But I think I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow instead of white. I want it to be a little bit more ready or orangey. So I'm gonna add, there we go. So I'm just mixing, oh yes. That's a beet color, see? You don't have the color you want. We're gonna mix colors to get it. So I did pink, or I could do red and purple to make a red purple, which is what I wanted. I wanted a red purple, but I don't have red paint. So I know that pink is from the red family. So I used pink, and then I added yellow to make it boost that lightness, right? Because you can lighten colors with yellow, not just with white. Remember that, you can lighten colors with yellow not just with with white it just makes a different kind of light and that might be better for you now if i add a white to this it'd be more pink and i don't want a pink beat check it out okay i'm gonna lighten my green also oh no wait, actually i'm not i'm gonna use <laughs> beat tops have more of a pinky stem don't they Add a little bit of black. And then 
down one side of the beat and along the bottom. Keep my roots yellow. It's totally not realistic, but it's okay. Alright, now I'm going to add some background. So I'm going to pick a color. I'm not even mincing my brush. I'm going to pick. Let's see. different colors for the background. You can paint your background whatever colors and however you want. This one is pretty straight. show your appreciation and subscribe to this channel. If you complete these works and you snap a picture uh, with your phone, whatever device, make sure you so share them to social media and tag me at Ms. Artastic or use the hashtag Ms. Artastic so that I can check out your completed works. As well, if you're looking for some more art ideas that you can do at home or in a classroom, grab my free guide up here. It's super easy to download and check out lots of different art ideas that you can do at home, anywhere, anytime. And if you're wanting to access my art lesson library full of hundreds of different art lessons, make sure you head on over to artastickids.com and join the Artastic Kids online membership so you can make art anywhere, anytime, on any device using some really fun art mediums. See you in the next episode.